Dear Coach Zorn. As I sit here pondering the Redskins dilemma, I'm reminded of that old fable of the lion and the mouse. As you may recall, in this analogy, the lion being the king of the, of the jungle and the mouse was pretty much the most insignificant animal. The lion was helped by the mouse and it took the mouse to remove the thorn that was plaguing the lion. Well, in this analogy I think that the lion are the redskins here. I believe the redskins have the talent to be the kings of the NFC East. But yet, there's something plaguing the Redskins. And the mouse, the mouse here are the fans. You see, we're fairly insignificant to the Redskins, that's clear. The comments of Robert Hansen and your comments that you've made to members of the media it's clear that you obviously and members of your team obviously have little respect for the fans opinions in 37 years I've seen pretty much every game that the Redskins have played and uh, I can tell you I may not know X's and O's but I do know when the Redskins have pretty much given up. I think they've given up on your coaching, uh, play calling abilities, and I think they pretty much gave up on themselves when they lost to the Lions last Sunday. There are a few things that I can say about the game that was good. Sure, you went for it on fourth down. Fans always like to see that. But you decided to take that stock car approach and go left. Coach Zorn, you were stopped twice from getting in the end zone last week when you, when you lost to the, well, excuse me, when you beat the Rams 9-7. And then you still chose to go left against the Lions. And you were stopped again on the one yard line. Well, I don't have any problems with you going for it on fourth down. But come on, don't turn left all the time, brother. This car goes right too. I don't know what to tell you to fix the problem, coach, other than the fact that Maybe you need to start listening to some of the things that the fans say. I mean, sure, you know what? I noticed that you did do a fade route in that Lions loss. But you did the fade route to the wrong person. You're still trying to use Kelly and Thomas. You need to use that young kid, Marco Mitchell, on the fade. He does something that the other two wide receivers don't do. And that's by his quarterback a little bit of time with a little hesitation there on the, on the line of scrimmage before he runs his route. And his heart and his desire is greater than those other two receivers. That's something that you can't coach. Desire and heart. You can't coach it because your team doesn't have it and what little heart and desire they do have, I feel as though it's fading quickly. 